Hey, Tom here from Made by Loop, and in this video, I'm going to run through the features of my Numero script and how it can help save you time when creating sliding number counters in After Effects. I've added chapters to this video, so do feel free to navigate to whatever section you need to. If you're looking for how to create a sliding number counter with commas and decimals, for example, you can quickly jump to that chapter. So let's get started. As I mentioned before, Numero is a script for creating sliding number counters in After Effects, and it couldn't be more simple to use. To quickly demonstrate how it works, I'm going to create a simple sliding number counter that goes from 0 to 1000. So I've got my composition selected here in After Effects, and I've got the Numero script docked up here as well. All I have to do to create the sliding number counter using the script is enter 0 in this count from box and then a thousand in the count to box. And then I'll hit go. You can see that instantly the script has created the counter for us. And if I scrub through the timeline, you can see that it animates nicely from zero to a thousand with this nice sliding animation. So if I just delete that counter for now, and I'll try another example. Let's say I wanted to create a counter from a thousand to five thousand, for example. It's exactly the same process. I'll just put a thousand in the count from box, five thousand in the count to box, and I'll hit go. Again, the script instantly creates a sliding number counter that animates from a thousand to five thousand. And it also works in reverse too. So I'll delete the counter again, and I can put five thousand in the count from box this time and then 1000 in the count to box, and I'll hit go. And now we have a counter that counts down instead of up. So you can see it's really simple to create sliding number counters using this script. So let's dive into some of the more advanced features. So what about adding commas, decimals, and other things like pound or dollar signs into our sliding number counters for things like currency? Well, again, I've made this as simple as possible in the script. So let's say I want to create a sliding number counter that goes from zero to 1,000 pounds. And within the 1,000 pounds bit, we want to add a comma separator in there after the one. All I have to do is come up here to the count from box and enter zero. And then in the count to box, I'm going to write the number exactly how I want it to appear. So in this case, I'll put one comma, and then three zeros. What I'll then do is I'll add the pound sign to this box here, the prefix. If you ever need to add anything before or after your counters, this is where to do it, the prefix and suffix boxes. Now when I hit the go button, you can see that Numero will instantly create a new counter, only this time we have the comma exactly where it needs to be, and the pound sign is right at the start too. So let's say I want to go one step further and add in the decimals too. It's exactly the same, all I have to do is write the number exactly as I'd like it to appear. So I'll add the decimal point and two zeros to the value here, and then in the suffix box I'll add P for pence. I'll hit go, and there we have it. We now have a sliding number counter in seconds with a prefix, suffix, decimal point and commas. I should note here that you can put any value you want in the prefix and suffix boxes. I could add the word potatoes in there and the script will take the value and place it nicely at the end of the counter for me. That is a lot of potatoes. Now let's take a look at the timing of the animation. So far every counter we've added has animated from 0 to 4 seconds. If you want to speed up or slow down the counter, you can do this by clicking into the Numero composition. Then all you have to do is scroll down and select the column one null control and hit the U button on your keyboard. This brings up the two keyframes that power the entire counter animation. So if I wanted this counter to animate over 10 seconds, for example, instead of four, I'd simply move the second keyframe over to around the 10 second mark and the animation is extended. So if you ever need to change the duration of the animation, this is where to do it. 
Another thing you may want to do is adjust the size of the counter itself. So let's just quickly change it back to P instead of potatoes. I'll create a new one. All you have to do to change the size of the counter is to select the numeral layer and hit S to bring up the scale value. Then it's just a case of scaling it up or down depending on what size you need in your composition. You can see that the counter stays nicely crisp and sharp, no matter how big we make it. And that's because the continuous rasterization option is enabled here in the layer settings. If I were to turn this off, it becomes blurry. So you always want to make sure that this is enabled. The final thing to mention is this little checkbox here, the step change option. This is an added feature for when you don't actually want the sliding animation, but instead you just want the numbers to change as they are in place. So if I create a new counter with this step change option enabled, you can now see that rather than sliding, the numbers just count up instead. So there we have it. That's the Numero script. Click the link in the description to check out the scripts page. And if you have any questions at all about the scripts features, do leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. As ever, if you like this video, do hit like and subscribe, and be sure to check out madebyloop.co.uk for more time-saving motion design resources.